What's going on, chat? I'm really excited to play some Donkey Kong. I just got a package from UPS. We've got this beauty. I'm so impressed with this little thing. For $30, this feels like a nice piece of equipment. Completely wireless, uh, first party product. 30 bucks shipped for a wireless dog bone controller, baby. Super Nintendo, straight from Nintendo store. I also got, I'm not gonna show you guys yet. It's $50 to get free shipping, this was 30 bucks. I got another item as well. It's very special, and you'll see it soon enough. That's a tease for later. But this is gonna be a quick stream. I've been thinking about Donkey Kong since we first played it. When we played it, I complained a lot about the D-pad on the Switch Pro controller. It leaves something to be desired. It's a little rough on the thumb, to say the least. So, uh, I invested. I was like, we've been playing a lot of retro games. This SNES controller will feel so good if we're playing Super Nintendo, if we're playing Genesis, if we're playing NES games on the uh, Switch. We'll be in good shape. So, I invested in that. We'll use it going forward. And we're going to start off today using it for Donkey Kong Country Returns. Well, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, not Returns. It's the fifth Donkey Kong Country game. Not the fourth. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it syncs up to the Switch just like a regular controller would. It seems like a, a pretty good fit. I'm not exactly positive how it's all gonna function, but I think it's 100% compatible. So we're gonna find out together. Night Gecko, welcome. How's your day going over there? Appreciate you. L and R to start. I can do that with my Super Nintendo controller. Yeah, this feels perfect. Default, default. Continue. Play in single player. Yes. Hi. What's up, bro? Coming to hang out? Ah, uh, yeah. We can change whenever we want. Love it. Figuring out what to do for lunch. You decide. You tell me. <laughs> we love lunch around here. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is going to be like a, you know, honestly, like a shorter stream. My goal is complete this world. So, I mean, it could take... 30 minutes it could take three and a half hours I guess but we'll see how it goes but the idea was I just wanted to get on here and uh, mess with the Super Nintendo controller I got the Super Nofrendo controller Richard no this is my controller buddy <laughs> he's into it he's into it uh, I think we have to move maybe my face I'm not positive we'll find out together all right I'm excited to see how this is gonna feel we have to relearn the controls a little bit, but this controller feels good in the hand. I have it plugged in because we just got it. I'm not sure what it's holding. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And then we do. Ooh, I wonder if I can change that because that doesn't feel that good. Options, controls, pro controller. Hmm. You can't really mess with it. Okay. The ZR, the buttons to roll. Wait, wait, did I switch it? Did I switch it? We must see. Default. Okay, so it's the extra buttons is grab. It's like way up on the uh, on the side. Ooh. Ooh, listen to the fucking music in this. All right, great start, Jake. We're still getting used to it. Uh, so what's happening right now is that the buttons to grab are not the big shoulder buttons you'd expect them to be. They're these little guys up here. And it doesn't look like I can switch the mapping for that, which makes it a little bit annoying because the other ones aren't used for shit, it seems. Uh, let me just look at that one more time and see what the switching of that does. Mm, ground pound, roll, attack, corkscrew. Ground pound, roll, attack, corkscrew. Ooh. Okay, so no matter what, let's just stick with what we know. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Bonus acquired. All right, let's not get fucked by this guy right off the jump. What do you say? Oh my god, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. We need to roll into that. 
right? Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Maybe we don't. Seems like I just had a wonky jump. Oh my god, he punched me right in the fucking dick. Alright, I will say that this feels so much better on this controller. Just the D-pad and controlling this thing feels like a fucking dream come true. A dream! A goddamn dream. Loa, welcome in. How's my hump day? My hump day is... Fuck! <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Um, I've been waiting, I'm having like a... I don't know. So, I, here's here's a little complaint that is relevant to absolutely nobody but me. But I have real fucking problems with USPS. United States Postal Service is consistently fucked around here. <laughs> My hump day is fuck. It is. <laughs> Richard, how's your hump day? Better than mine, bro? Probably. Probably. Oh, you're super sweet, buddy. You're super sweet. Oh, so sweet. Such a good boy. Um, UPS comes fine. No problem at all. FedEx, fine. No, no problem at all. USPS delivers my mail on a good day at like 6.30 p.m. And on a bad day, not at all. <laughs> and sometimes those bad days just don't fucking... They, they like stack up. So I have like two packages from completely different places that are supposed to be here in the mail. One of them would go in the mailbox, the other one would come to my front door, likely. Just size-wise. They were both supposed to be here Monday. It's fucking Wednesday. They didn't come Monday, there was no shipping update on Tuesday, and they're not here yet on Wednesday. And, and to boot, uh, oh shit, I gotta grab it. Ah, we grabbed it at the right time. We got our girl, we got our girl! It's Dixie time, baby! Um, not only that, but, the shipping has not been updated. What is this? You're a new mechanic. What do I do? Oh, I follow you. Uh, so they'd be both be coming from different places and they haven't shown up. At all. And it's beyond fucking frustrating. Um, but on top of that, it's not that these two packages are an issue. There is no mail coming. Like, I haven't gotten snail mail. Typically, there's something in the mailbox every day. Whether it's like, you know, a fucking advertisement or like a bank statement or, you know, who knows? There's always something coming in the mail. Magazine? Maybe I'll get my new <laughs> electronic gaming monthly. <laughs> but, uh, no. There's just been no mail. And I'm waiting on, like, two fairly exciting things. Like, things, not, not the most exciting in the world, but, like... I don't know. Things that I would like to have on Monday and not on fucking hopefully Wednesday. So that's been a pain in my dick. I've been doing a lot of looking outside. Meanwhile, this controller came from Nintendo directly via UPS. Was supposed to come here Thursday. It's here on fucking Wednesday. UPS, making it happen. USPS, take notes, bro. Those are taxpayer dollars at work. I've only had problems with FedEx. I can't imagine what UPS is. Oh, UPS, no problem. USPS, different. It's United States Postal Service versus United Parcel Service. United Parcel Service is the independently owned uh, brown uniform, brown truck driving gigachads of delivering parcels. The USPS is the United States Postal Service, a government agency that takes care of delivering snail mail. Fucking ridiculous. Brown. They are brown. Indeed. Indeed. Alright, here we go. E big jump, baby! Nice, we're doing it. We're still platforming even while I monologue. Not bad, huh, chat? Heh, <laughs> chat. Um. I only trust Post Nord. <laughs> ah! Get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Okay. We know secrets when we see them. Nick, what's poppin', my man? What have you been doing lately? What have you been playing on? Sitting there waiting patiently for your MLB? Anything crazy? Ooh, burrito or nachos? Honestly, burrito. Burrito... Burrito is a... meal, baby. Burrito's here to fucking play. A... nachos is like a snack. Nachos in addition to burrito. Yeah. Now we're talking. Why is it telling me to roll and jump? Roll and jump where, bro? Is there- is my face hiding something? No, it's not. 
Do I just leap of faith it out to the right? Oh, I understand. Okay, it liked that. It liked that. Should I leave my face here, chat? <laughs> cool. Richard, you're back. Pal, you're so sweet today. What's gotten into you? Soon you'll be yelling at me to leave this office, I'm sure. Checkpoint acquired. Uh, this level has been so fucking pleasant so far. It reminds me of like a... It reminds me of the Lion King just can't wait to be king. Fuck! Set piece. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh, working right now, heard. Richard, I cannot believe you're back. Truly unfathomable that you would bless us with your presence this often. Fully loaded nachos, chicken, queso, black beans, pico, and guacamole. Yeah, I would get all that folded up in the, into a burrito, and then I'd get a bunch of chips on the side, and then I'd eat it real messy so I'd have something to clean up with those chips. <laughs> So fucking cursed, but I'm just telling you. I'm just calling it how I see it. Sometimes you gotta eat it real messy. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Hawk, welcome, what's going on? Oh, oh, we want Dixie. No, 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 no. No, we want Dixie. We want Dixie. We want Dixie. Dixie. Yeah. That's our girl. That's our girl. Hawk is so diligent on the Echo Challenge. <laughs> so diligent. Hawk, I told you, have we talked about the fact that I shot a quick play and you're the first person that made a request for a game that made it through and I officially have a quick play in the books of Sledstorm? But I think I might have played the wrong Sledstorm. But I played the right one for me. It depends on which one you wanted to see. I did Sledstorm PS2 which come to find out is essentially a spin-off of SSX and is the fucking best. <laughs> it's like it's the coolest game I fucking played in a long time. Is this fucking secrets, bro? I'm going to get this checkpoint and then I'm going to get the secret because I can have it all. I can have it all, baby. Ah. Oh, also chat. Look what I'm playing on right now. If you're just getting here, I'm playing this on a fucking Super Nintendo classic controller it works perfectly it is honestly a gigantic upgrade from playing on the switch pro controllers d-pad and uh, i ordered this from nintendo it was 30 bucks it is probably the best investment i've played because we've been playing a lot of retro games this will work great for echo this will work great for any of the mario games nes super nintendo even genesis stuff will be better than using the pro controller for sure so I'm definitely feeling this purchase. And then I also got something else today with that purchase. Maybe I'll show you. I was going to hold it as a surprise. When I actually wear it, it will be a surprise. I'll show you guys what I got. So we've been talking. We've talked a lot about a certain character lately in some of the games that we'd like to play from a certain franchise. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> It's got the it's got the Nintendo seal of quality, so you know it's good. And that also explains it's the Nintendo seal of quality why the W is crooked. But that's fine. <laughs> Maybe it's not crooked. Maybe I'm looking at it weird. You know what? The whole thing is crooked. It's not it's not just the W. <laughs> it's not it's not the finest quality product that I've ever seen. <laughs> but Wario wouldn't mind. I don't think it'll be a problem. <laughs> Loa, make Loa shake it. What a phenomenal Wario Land shake it's going to be the grand finale. That's the last solo Wario game that we really got. But we're going to play through after playing WarioWare. 
We had such a fucking good time. Um, it made me want to play WarioWare everything. And then we also played Mario Land 2 to completion, which was a blast. And it makes me really want to play Mario Land 3, which is actually... Fuck! Which is actually Wario Land 1, which would send us on a path of just... I think playing every Wario Land game, so that being the case, if we play every WarioWare and every Wario Land game, we might as well just play every single Wario video game. We'll throw in Wario World, we'll throw in, oh, Wario Land Shake It, we'll throw in Game in Wario. Let's just go through the complete Wariography. Wariography! Is that a word? I think it is. Big spin, big spin. I would like that bonus life, but I might die getting it. So that being the- e I didn't die. It is now. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. All right. No! I like my message, Wariography. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's canon. Write that down. We're doing the Wariography. Oh. All right. Does our G stick, our N sticks, our N sticks? That's what I meant. Oh, the G is still here though. Okay. So we need to like jump it now. To yeah, in and out, baby. And then a little fucking. Bloop. Pain. <laughs> God. And the G does not stick. I need to get that on this pass. I mean, I don't need to get it. Ooh. Ooh, that was fucking mean. God, I'm so fucking bad at this, bro. <laughs> I just want this stupid fucking G. Alright. You know what? It's not that big of a deal because I am getting this bonus life every time. Most times. Except for that time. I think I need to give up on the G. I don't know. Bro, I'm gonna use I'm using up all my lives on level 3 1. <laughs> Alright. We're fucking done. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're done. Richard, I cannot believe you're back. Yes! Sorry, I scared Richard. <laughs> I want it. I fucking want it. I don't care. I deserve it. I work hard! Yes! Alright, no stupid deaths! Dude, the fucking soundtrack to this level is unreal. This is like... Disney movie levels of- God, jump, you fucking stupid! Oh. All right, here we go. No, bro. No, bro. This is requires very fine movements. Yeah, like so. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Terrifying. A truly terrifying moment. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. Oh my god, this game is something else, dude. Such good platforming. You remember what to do here? Easy roll. And easy fucking W. We'll take the extra life. We lost a few getting that G. But look at us. K-O-N-G. Is that good, chat? <sighs> Intense. I am loving playing on this fucking Super Nintendo controller. It's a game changer. A game changer. Yes. Chat, how's game sound for you? Can it come up at all? I think I'm gonna try to boost it. Just a bit. Just a bit. We'll see how it looks. We'll see how it looks. I'm keeping an eye on those levels. You let me know if you start being able to hear me.
Counter-Strike 2 being announced? Is this real? I've seen it rumored for the last couple weeks. Somebody link me a sweet article about Counter-Strike 2 if it's real. Ah! Ooh, it's so stupidly shaped, bro! Eek! God, the fucking penguin killed me. Alright. Alright. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. That feels nice. Feels nice to get it right after getting it so wrong. Shit. Should've gone up. I don't think I can get that now. Oh, I don't think I care. I don't think I care. We're progressing. We're progressing. We're going for progress, not completionist. Oh my god. What do I do? Oh, this guy's a double tap type situation. Get out. Pull. Perfect. Oh, cool. I understand. First, we'll take our little heal. Good jump. The rolly jump is becoming huge, dude. Dixie? Oh, damn. <laughs> Dixie is a, a game changer, dude. Easily the number one fucking Kong that's ever existed. And everyone agrees. Except for Candy Kong, obviously. <laughs> Dude, these oblong fruits are rude for existing. You don't appreciate them. Come on, dive. No, you little bastard, dude. I'm out. No, Dixie! Fuck! We were so close. We died right before the checkpoint. The checkpoint came into view. We're alright. We know what we're doing. I hate the shape of you. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, you're so fast. Fuck it. I'm taking the advantage. Uh, How did I get up here last time? Like so. Takes your time. Good to have you back home, girl. Dude. This is just such a great platforming experience. I can't explain the joy that it brings me to play it on this controller, too. It really, really gives it the perfect throwback feel. Makes me want to play a lot more retro stuff. We've been doing that a lot lately, chat, and I want to keep it up. I do want to do more Chia tonight. So when I stream tonight at Prime... Ah, what are you? Sick! Uh, when I stream that tonight, prime time, we're gonna stream Chia at like 9-ish. Probably get 8-ish again. Um, we'll continue that there. And then we'll do Donkey Kong for our main, like, during the day game for a little while, I think, until we crush it out. But, um, mm. after that, I would love to do some more Mario, Wario, Donkey Kong, Metroid, some real good old-fashioned first-party Nintendo stuff to mark off the list. <gasps> I see. I see. Oh, it rolls like an asshole, just like the other ones. What are you? Blue? Oh. Oh. What do I do? <gasps> oh. No! Oh my god, dude, no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need my Dixie girl. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'll just be passing by here for the moment. Feels so nice sometimes. Alright, if I wait long enough, I get a free life. Like so. 
That's nice. Good boost, Dixie. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Let me think. Where are we supposed to be? Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Yup. Tremendous, dude. Tremendous. We love to see it. I'm gonna pull open Twitter, see if there's any uh, Counter-Strike stuff to look at. Sonic Frontiers has sold 3 million units worldwide. Well deserved, dude. Give me more of that shit. I love Sonic Frontiers so fucking much. And I know that there is a uh, DLC for it coming out, but it's like time trials in the fucking sound cabinet or something. I don't give a fuck about it. Um, we'll play that when new, new content comes out. Obviously, we'll hop back into it, but we, we crushed that thing. We fucking crushed it. Alright. Um, Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike. Alright, nothing yet, nothing yet, nothing yet. State of Unreal Press Conference at GDC is probably going to have some interesting stuff going on. Uh, Valve has posted Counter-Strike 2 videos. Nice. <laughs> what a time to be alive, huh? Oh, I dropped my controller. I got faked out on my second sneeze. What's happening here? Why can't I progress? Oh, I have to hit down. I see. 3-3. Three, three. Play level. Ready. God, this game is so pleasant, man. And, uh, I've felt challenged by it, but I haven't felt, like, punched through my monitor challenged the way that... God damn it. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Interesting mechanic. Punch through the wall challenge is how Donkey Kong Country Returns made me feel. Oftentimes. Oh, look at me fucking gaming! Rambi! Okay. Good shit, Rambi. What do I do? Oh yeah, I mean, just same same deal. You just have to kind of dash. Ooh, Rambi! Rambi, you are such a fucking good boy. Ah! Rambi, no! I lost our boy. Don't die. Oh, nice. We made it to the checkpoint. Okay. Things have been worse. We've had harder times. We don't have Rambi or Dixie. But, fuck! Alright. I didn't realize what kind of section we were in. It's a, uh, you know, avoid the shit type section. <laughs> so you just have to avoid them once and you're in good shape. And we got our boy back. Okay, my man. Rambi time. No, not Diddy Kong, bro. I didn't know Rambi was gonna... Keep it going, buddy. Eh, get there. Nice. Damn. We don't have our Rambi boy. Nightmare. I get it. Okay. I get it. I understand now. <laughs> I didn't understand before, and now I understand. Isn't that great? That's a rude checkpoint, to be honest. I feel like we're going to be in trouble. If we're being completely transparent. I feel trouble brewing. Okay, we know what to do here. This isn't so bad. We can get our Rambi. Which is nice. And this time we'll get our Dixie. And we're gonna be fucking... Dead. We're fucking dead. <laughs> Nightmare, dude. Okay. Here we go. What is it, Richard? You wanna leave the office? After 
being in here for more than 30 minutes? <laughs> but then will you want to come back in the office in less than 10? Huh. Okay, interesting. Big if true. No, it has to be Diddy Kong. Okay. Alright, Rambi. We need you now. We need you now holding down the fort. We'll grab that. Okay. Good shit. And we still have Rambi, which is huge for this section. Oh. That was close. Ah! Oh! We're gaming! Ooh! Go! Counter-Strike 2 looks pretty nice, pretty much just an upgrade from CSGO. I'm really interested to take a peek at it. I'm actually gonna, uh, pull up a video after this level, see if I can find something. I would love to take a look. Nice! Dixie time! Get out of here, Diddy, you fucking loser. God damn it. I heard her. <gasps> Ooh. Honestly, though, we're doing pretty well. Oh no. Yes! The smoke video, especially. Interesting. Please! Yes! Nice! Gamers! Let's go! Alright. I'm a good streamer, so I am very capable of bringing this video to everyone's attention with the click of a button. Look at me go. In a Counter-Strike match, information can mean the difference between success or failure. As a result, smoke grenades have become a cornerstone of team tactics. With Counter-Strike 2's new game engine, we've evolved smokes and made them dynamic. Smoke Dynamic. grenades now create volumetric 3D objects that live in the world. Now, not only do all players see the same smoke regardless of position, but the smoke can interact with the environment in interesting ways. Cool. It reacts to lighting, grows to fill spaces naturally. The shape of the smoke cloud can be pushed and carved by bullets. Okay, Valve doing Valve things again. In Counter-Strike 2, smoke grenades provide even more tactical opportunities. They're just going to look and play better. That right there is such a cool moment. I want to see if I can pull it back and find the exact one I'm thinking. It's going to look and play That one right better. there. They're just going to look and play the way that that fucking fills the room is so cool. Play. Such a realistic look. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I love to see Valve making shit. I love to see Valve making shit, bro. This is fucking exciting. About time. Counter-Strike is known for its visceral and satisfying gunplay. Of course. Of course. Now, firing a weapon looks pretty simple. You click your mouse, your character shoots, your target takes damage. But there's a lot more happening behind the scenes. In previous versions of Counter-Strike, the game only evaluated moving and shooting in discrete time intervals, or ticks, and time Tick between rate. those ticks didn't exist. For the most part, the experience was seamless. But sometimes those milliseconds between click and tick could be the difference between landing or missing your shot. That's why with Counter-Strike 2, we're introducing sub-tick updates. Now the tick rate no longer matters for moving and shooting, so the server will know the exact moment you fired your shot, jumped your jump, or peaked your peak, and the server will calculate your precise actions between ticks. So what you see is what you get. Hmm. That is something that affects me not at all, but it's something I've heard people talk about on the competitive scene very often. I wonder how this will affect I don't know. People that are playing on a high level, and I'm wondering how... What a weird way to uh, announce With your over game. Just three, years like, tech history, videos. Maps are a fundamental pillar of Counter-Strike. Um, I'm excited to see what that looks like and on a high level. And in Counter-Strike 2, maps are getting a new look. Dust. But don't worry. 
you can still bring along your countless hours honing strategies and exploiting every corner and crevice. We took three approaches to improving maps while retaining their rich legacy. Mm. First, there are touchstone maps, classic maps with solid foundations that players can use to evaluate gameplay changes from CSGO to Counter-Strike 2. These have improvements to lighting and character read, but otherwise haven't been changed. Cool. Next, we have upgrades. These are maps that use new Source 2 lighting, including a physically based rendering system That's, that these produces are slick realistic multiplayer materials, maps. lighting, and reflections. And finally, overhauls. The oldest maps have been fully rebuilt from the ground up, leveraging all of the Source 2 tools and rendering nice. features. These tools will be available for community map makers to make it easier to build, experiment, Ooh, and wow. iterate. With upgrades wow. to lighting, player read, and materials in Counter-Strike like 2. Even the familiar... Very, the uh... Extensive tool set for creating that map that I was just looking at. It seems like it kind of always plays the same little stinger at the end. I've seen that one shot of the fucking... I've seen, I've seen this shot... 35 times in the last three videos. Very cool, though. Very fucking cool. And that's it. That's all they posted. Was like... Happy birthday Steam Deck was six days ago. Lo, do you know when your Steam Deck is going to be there? I'm still excited to uh, know what you think about it. And then it's just three Counter-Strike videos. Wild. Wild times. Whoa, look at this page. This looks fucking sweet. Whoa. One view. What the fuck, YouTube? Push my shit out. <laughs> That's been blocked for some reason, which happens. Like, at a minimum, I should be pulling in a couple hundred views. These these are, like, views that don't hit the algorithm whatsoever. Something like this, something like that, that's good shit. This, I said something somewhere where it was like, you're not allowed to say the word pet on YouTube or something like that. Some fucking bullshit. That's what it is. Good shit, though. Counter-Strike, man. Who would have thought? Uh, let me unmute the Elgato. Let me close that YouTube capture so that the next time I bring up my browser, you guys don't see everything I'm doing. Streamer shit. You're sending it from the Netherlands, which isn't that far away. Oh, very cool. Uh, so on Friday, if I'm lucky. Oh, fuck yeah. You feel like you want to hope, right? You're trying to set yourself up for failure. I was like, yeah, it'll probably be here next week, but there's a chance Friday. But in your heart of hearts, you're like... It's gonna be here fucking Friday. It's happening. It's happening. And all weekend, I'm gonna get to fuck with my Steam Deck. And I'm putting it out there into the universe. Cause you deserve it, my friend. Get that Steam Deck. Get that Steam Deck. This week. This is your last- This is your last week. Steam Deckless. Ah! Ooh, Dixie- Oh, actually, I don't need it. Look at this level, too, with everything on fire. Very cool. Oh, let's choke up a little bit. What are these? Unimportant. Okay. Let's go. And let's go. Good shit. What's over here? We'll grab it. We'll grab it. For the road. For the road. Lemmy. Good to see ya. Look what came in today. We're playing Donkey Kong, which I'm sure you're into. It's like almost Kirby, but cooler. <laughs> I'm playing it on this, the wireless Super Nintendo controller for the Switch. So this is a actual Switch game that I'm playing with the Super Nintendo controller, but in the future, we'll be able to play all kinds. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't need your rope. All kinds of uh, retro stuff and 2D stuff with um, this very controller. I'm really excited for it. It's gonna make, I think, all of the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, and the Genesis stuff a real pleasure to play. And any current stuff that has, you know, compatibility with, you know, just the face buttons. It doesn't need an analog stick. Basically, any time that I want to use the D-pad to control a character in the game, I'm going to want to use this, because this D-pad is so much nicer, so much softer than the one on the Pro Controller. What is hurting me? Oh, the ground's on fire, bro. Fuck, I just jumped off like an idiot. How's your uh, Wednesday going over there, Lemmy? What you got popping? You feeling better? I know you were kind of feeling shitty last week. 
Back at work. Kicking it, being normal. Ooh, fuck yeah. Come on, man. The fucking fire spreading is so wild. And Loa, you are entirely correct. The soundtrack is very 10, and I am very bad. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, I was standing there. Like I was waiting. You're a fucking asshole! Doing f doing so much better. Was finally able to taste food again after a week. Not COVID. Nice. Nice. We love not COVID. Uh, I get that. Doesn't it feel like you lose taste and it's just like, oh, okay. I'm gonna die from complications relating to fucking COVID. <laughs> but no, if you just get like a stuffy nose, you're not gonna really able to taste food. Dude, how can I be so fucking shitty? Honestly, that's the scariest thing about COVID. Not the potential of death, the potential of not being able to taste food. <laughs> Take my life, but not my sense of taste. <laughs> because at that point, what's the fucking point, you know? I need to fucking focus, bro. How do I, uh... Can I, like, use my fucking... Dixie thing? I would love to have Dixie right now. She would make the world a better place. Okay. This area is hot. Now, what are the properties of this guy? Alright, so I can't even land there. I need to land on him. Alright, these are the key, these are the key, these are the key. These are what I'm missing, the water balloons. The water berries, I don't fucking know. No stupid deaths. E! Yes! Okay. 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 Oh! They almost got me. They almost caught me slipping. Good. Shit. Oh, massive jump! We need to move, we need to move! Yes, dude. Checkpoint reached, finally. <laughs> Good timing. For real, I was okay not being able to smell, but tasting? Nah, you can miss me with that shit. So fucking true. So true. So true. Ooh. Okay, I just need to avoid these. Oh, I was getting too bold. <gasps> yes, it's fucking Dixie time, baby. Okay, so these things are actually okay to walk on. Where exactly are you? I don't know. Um, God damn it. They're okay to walk on, but when they get jumped on, fire starts on them by those guys. Not those guys. Good shit, dude. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's okay. I thought I had Dixie. Oh, stupid. Very stupid. Uh, we're officially in fucking game over territory. Which will be the first for the game. Oh, we're gonna die. We're absolutely gonna die. Okay. We're actually doing fine. Dixie, I need you. Good shit. Good shit, Dixie Kong. Yeah. This just in. We're gaming. What are you? Secrets? No, not really. Here we go. Yep. Alright, now we just need to pay close attention to that second one. Good. Much better. Yep. Hey, now! Shit, I should have really lined that up to get the extra life because we have zero lives. But honestly, not a bad spot, not a bad spot. We progressed. I feel good about that. 
Now, what can I do about my life situation? I'm assuming it just, uh... Okay, for... Proof of concept. I'm gonna go in here and die. Very quickly. Uh, maybe I shouldn't because I have Dixie. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. I want to see if we can kind of cheese this a little bit. Like, if it's old school Donkey Kong rules, I'm pretty sure we have zero lives right now. Which means if we die during it, we get a game over. We go to the beginning of the level and we respawn with three lives. Which means starting a level with zero lives, for all intents and pur purposes, will always make absolutely no sense. What's happening? Are you fucking kidding? Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I understand. It's fucking... So, now we're in the game, now we're in the game! Now look at us! Oh... Fuck. Okay. I do still want to do what I was saying. I would like to die. Hurt me. Hurt me. I want to- I want to experiment with this. I want to see what the penalty is. Uno mas. Uno mas- Uno mas self-destructs. Alright, our first game over. Self-inflicted. With the continue, we are gonna get booted, I'm assuming. Back to the world map, back to the beginning of 3-5, with four lives. Absolutely the answer. Absolutely. The only difference is we're not starting with Dixie Kong, because we had Dixie at the end of level 3-4, but not that big of a deal. All things said and done, especially at the beginning of a low. Not a problem at all. All right, we know what to do. Oh yeah, especially, oh no, put it down. I don't want Diddy Kong, fuck. You know what to do. We know what to do. We're gonna take it nice and easy. Nice and easy from this little shark thing. Alright. We are further than we've ever been before. <gasps> stupid, 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 stupid risk. We didn't need that Oh, We needed to be alive. That's what's important. Now we're fucking... Praying for a, a heart. Oh my god, we missed the extra life because we're the worst. And we died right before the checkpoint! Fuck! So stupid. It's okay, it didn't cost us anything. We can get our Dixie Kong back. We didn't really want to complete that without our Dixie. Without our Dixie girl. No, don't hurt me. Yay. Where were we? Okay. It's a little weird to start. You don't start... I think you have to mash B. Instead of hold B. Like you do in this regular part of the game. Okay. We get our first life, no problem. Now... We take our hit because we're fucking stupid! Because we are stupid! But we get our heart back here. And that prevents us from getting our O. But it's not that big of a deal. Again, we're not going for 100% completion. We're just trying to get through this video game. Look at that. We got our extra life this time around. And we made it to the checkpoint this time around. What could be better? Gameplay variety in Donkey Kong Country Returns is unmatched. Unmatched. We're almost on World 3, and we're getting new shit. The question is... Is the swordfish in this game? I'd like to see the swordfish. I forgot his name, too. Ooh! Fucking no-hit run. Look at this. Look at this fucking precision, chat! Look at this precision! We're gonna do the whole level. Right now. I know. I know, I know we just started it. 
I know it's insane. But I'm fucking gaming. Okay, back to school. Have fun. Stop dying. <laughs> Money, good to see you. Have a good rest of your day. I think I'll be live again playing more Chia tonight. Ooh! Okay. Those were kind of indicating where to be. Oh, no, no. <laughs> scripted, scripted, scripted. We're okay. We're okay. Hey! First try, baby! Phenomenal. Feels so good. Feels so good. This game is... I am not kidding you. This game is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Easy. Cannon Canyon. It's a 10 out of 10 name. The game only gets better. Cannon Canyon. Are you fucking kidding me? It is a 10 out of 10. It is 2D platforming bliss. I can't think of a better situation. And I, I'm, I'm beating a dead horse on this stream already, but this Super Nintendo controller is a fucking game changer. I can't explain to you how good it feels to rest your thumb, the front part of it on the indented Y button and the back part of it on the bulbous B button. It just feels so goddamn right. He wants me to take Diddy? I refuse. I'm taking Dixie. She's OP, bro. She's literally too good. You think I'm doing this shit as Diddy, so it's gonna be harder than it should be. But in reality, I'm doing this shit as Dixie, so it's actually gonna be a breeze. Ooh, that was actually a nightmare. Oh, this is some old school Donkey Kong Country shit. This is the danger zone. That's tough to gauge perspective on. This is intense though. This shit gets wild fast. Wow, the perspective changes. So fun. Yep. Yep. That's okay. <laughs> okay, the platform again. Oh shit, oh shit. Like, I love Super Mario games, but those games for me have so much filler flying on a magic carpet for 15 minutes, for example. This is just new content, no bullshit all throughout. Yeah, this is a very, very tight platformer. This is where Retro Studios shines, man. Like, I guess it's not even just retro. Like, I would say, like, every once in a while, Nintendo... Oh, I fucking killed myself. I shot myself into a thing. Nintendo licensed out to one of their second party developers. I believe Retro Studios is what you would call a second party. I believe, uh, I guess not. I guess they're now first party. How does that work? No, I think Retro, part Retro Studios is a second party publisher, developer, developer. Because Nintendo is the first party publisher. And that would make Retro Studios the second party developer, which is... Fuck me. But um, Retro does it with Donkey Kong, and I think more recently, Next Level Games did it with Luigi's Mansion 3, where when you give the reins of a beloved IP to the right second party developer, shit can go extremely right. Like, to take it out of the hands of the people that invented it and innovate a little bit, give them a chance to shine. They tend to do some pretty amazing things. Um. Motherfucker! Retro did it. No, not retro. Shit. Who are Raven? Raven something? I wanted to say Raven Beak, but that's not their name. Who are the developers of Metroid Dread? Metroid Dread. Uh, they did it with Samus. Returns. Mercury Steam. Mercury Steam is the next ones that are, I think, really doing that. It's like. Hey, we took what Nintendo was doing for a long time. We proved ourselves with a new iteration, a remake, and then we really fucked around and made Metroid Dread, which is as good, if not better, than the classic Metroid games. I think. Hey. Okay, we gotta go left. Not straight, bro. Not straight, bro. Mercury Steam. 
The next ones. I would love to see Nintendo give Mario away to something to do that, but I don't think that's happening. Fuck, man, this is a difficult level. God, getting dicked. Okay, I really need to focus up because I am fucking up badly. Is there anything that I should be doing differently here? We are be getting za. Hell yeah, dude. All right, just taking our time is apparently the answer. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Who'd have thought? Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. Left. We wait for left. Good. We need to go right here. Ooh! Last second. Okay, uncharted territory. Good shit. And a heal, which we don't need, but we would take. Ooh, we missed the end. But again, not a big deal. What a level. A true DK classic. Damn, I didn't know you were going to go so fucking slow, bro. God! That timing is demanding. Demanding. But we know the rhythm now. We've got a good idea of how to complete. Okay. We wait. We wait. We wait. We do not wait. Mm-hmm. Now, for this one, we go mid. For this one, we go- OH! MID! For this one, we go left. Yep, for this one, we go right, which happens fast. Indeed. Good shit. Grab our heart, if we needed it. Oh, we're late on the end. That was supposed to be a quickie. But we waited, but we waited. And that's okay. Alright, we're right back where we left off. Slow, dude. So slow. Then this one, faster than you'd think. All right, we'll take it. Oh, nice. Psh, psh. Kidding me? Easy clap. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Triple trouble. Let's go. Boss, hey, this was the goal. We wanted to get down, we wanted to get a level done. And here we are. Dixie time! We love our girl. Oh, these bosses have been extravagant so far. They get so... Dude, the animations are so good. They get so fucking mad when things happen. Okay. Dixie and Donk. What's the plan? Okay. We're studying. We are studying. Alright, lots of evasion so far. I don't see a spot in which we can hit anyone yet. Unless, am I supposed to... Nope, nope, nope. That was a good test though. Right now, I believe it's all evasion. Right? Looks good so far. No, this is hit. It's hit time. Okay. The telegraph is when they launch it. They take out a hammer, it is not hit time. Oh, that would have been hit time. That would have been hit time. This is hit time. Good shit. This is good shit. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, fuck. Got him? Oh, I missed him. Too slow. Next up is... Okay. You have the bomb. I do not like this. 
Watermelon bomb? Are you good? I think I get it. We need to take the watermelon bombs and hit him at the right time. What a boss. Fantastic. Oh, dude, no! Tough. A little late. Oh, I don't have Dixie, dude. Nice! Oh, I got hit! I don't know if this is gonna be the run, man. No! Very difficult to time. Be surprised. Can I get a watermelon? Nice! <gasps> and a heart! Okay. Oh, he's gonna do the little jumps. I can avoid some jumps. Kesk, welcome. Up there. Yeah, we got him. And please, nice, we got him. Woo! We are gaming. Just one left. We started with three. It could get done, but this last phase is surely going to be extremely difficult. Can it happen? Oh no. Ghosts of monkeys past. Okay. I can't do anything with these but avoid. Short fuse on them, too. Oh, stupid. Nice. Okay, we got a hit. Damn, dude. They're laying it on thick. Alright. If the real monkey has a bomb... Should I try to hit the ghost ones, too? Alright, I can actually hit this guy. No, I fucking jumped over him so bad, so bad, so bad, and I died! Fuck! Fuck! Alright, Dixie Kong, we need you. We need you so badly. We're so fucking close. My poor brand new controller is getting sweated into. <laughs> Alright, remember the telegraph. If... He's holding a hammer. We do not attack. If there is no hammer, we attack. So I should have attacked the guy on the far right this time. Here we go. Good opportunity. Any good opportunity. No opportunity. Hey, Richie boy. What's up, little pal? This is so hard to read. Got one? No! Damn it! Good shit, good shit. We might be able to get two hits here. Good shit. Alright. Again, look for the hammer. If there's a hammer, no good. If there's no hammer, we've got an opportunity. Fuck, I jumped over him again, and I got hit, and I lost Dixie! God, such a bad start this time, dude. What is happening to me? Way worse than my first go-around. It's all falling apart. Okay. Bombing run. I'm looking for watermelons only. There we go. Great. Great start. Nice! Wow! Okay, we're making something happen. This is going quick. No! Watch out! Dunk! I fucking blew myself up! Not pretty. Okay. Sure. Yup! Okay. Very good shit. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? You gonna do it, bro? What's your plan? Holy shit. Bombs? 
Weird. Okay. Not so bad. Oh, I stood next to it. I should have grabbed it and thrown it, dude. Fuck! Nice. We hit him early. Okay. I think that's down to final phase. This is where we died last time. Same deal. It was sloppier getting here, though. Alright. We're gonna wait for a bomb? Richie boy, what is it, pal? I'm in the middle of a fucking boss fight, buddy. So it becomes very hard to love you. <laughs> nice! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. No, 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 stay away, stay away. Hammer means stay away. No hammer means give it a shot. Like right now. Yeah, we got one. And we'll take that heal. Very nice. Very nice. Get up! Yes! No, 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 no! Bad, 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 bad! I did a bad thing. Oh! Fuck. That was needed. Here we go. Good. Good, good. Good. Oh my god, this is getting fucking intense. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my god, I'm dead. No! I avoided it. I am the best that's ever lived, actually, it appears. No, I'm dead. Oh my god! Incredible! Incredible gamer moment! Incredible gamer moment! Happening right now, in front of your very eyes. Okay. Okay. I got pinched, bro. I got fucking pinched, bro! Oh, God. Oh, Loa. Look at that. That looks like a good pizza, dude. The toppings freak me out, personally, because I'm a... Looks like there's shrimp, I'm allergic to crustaceans, mushrooms, give me the heebie-jeebies, but I'm the pickiest eater in the world. But the bones of that, like, pizza? Looks fucking incredible. That's a very nice looking pie. Looks like a, uh... I don't know, I, even in the US. Some of the pizzas that we have are... Pff, a crime. You know, people rave about New York City pizza and all that. They go, yeah. I've had some bad New York pizza, no doubt. That looks like a good pizza place. I'd make it happen. Can't be worse than the tumble down. No. No. <laughs> but the double down's a special kind of bad where it's also very good. <laughs> Alright. These... I find very difficult to read in the beginning. And then the second one I never have time to get. That split kind of fucks me. Oof. Prioritize the hit, not the coin. Smart, JT. Making it happen. Alright, telegraph. If there's a hammer, we avoid. If there's no hammer, we make it happen. Right, Richard? God! But also, or sometimes just very bad. At video games. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was about to say, we've never been this far with Dixie still. We're taking no hits right now. Which is nice. Can we maintain? A heart would be nice. I'd love to have a heart. Okay. Watermelon time. Mmm. <clears throat> Not waiting to time it up and just going for the, uh, the brutal onslaught is so smart. What's happening, you two? Oh, you little fucker. Yes! What's your plan, dude? You're just gonna jump around? Hey, he's mad as fuck. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Same spot, same spot as last time. Full health, but just donkey. Oh, no. The second one's still alive. I thought we were on final phase. Okay. Good. Oh, I jumped right for it, dude. Like, I was aiming. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let me hold that fucking bomb in my hands. 
It'll be good and healthy. Now I'm gonna fucking lose. Everything's gonna have to be perfect. Give me a fucking... Give me a usable one, bro. Nope! I'm dead. Fucking hesitated, man. You can't hesitate. You can't fucking hesitate. You can't. Everyone knows you can't. <laughs> they all say, no hesitating. And I say, I know, I know. And then I get in there, and in practice, we fuck up. Here we go, baby. The goods. Easy. And you're another hit right here. Easy. Nice. No missed opportunities yet. Alright. There's a telegraph. They make like a... It's almost... Perfectly... The... What's it called sound? Can I get there? Can I get it? Yes, dude! That's our first time! I scared the shit out of Richard. He was right next to me. That was the first time we got both. Nope. I'm gonna take that hit. I got greedy, dude. I got greedy after getting those two hits in a row. Ooh, actually, doesn't matter. Wow. We're actually having a model run right now. Oh. May have spoken too soon. Yes, dude! Fuck yes! Good shit! We got Dixie. Alright, this is the run. This is the fucking run. We know the task at hand. We know what must be done. We've got the speed that comes with having our best girl. Oh, my. Oh! It's okay, we're not gonna be greedy, we're not gonna be greedy. Good. We're gonna, not gonna be greedy, we're not gonna be greedy, we're not gonna be greedy. We're keeping our Dixie and we're keeping our full health. We don't give a fuck. Alright, you're gonna do some jumping around, and then you're just gonna flip onto your head and let me hurt you. Right? A little more bombing action, or is it summoning ghost time? Ghosts. Wow, final phase with Dixie in full health. We've got a shot here. What's most important for this time? is that we have the roll. The extra roll that Dixie gives us, it's not even the hover as much as it's the roll. Because there's so much space that these guys take up with their swing, it's so important for trucking traversal. Look at us now. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. This is the secret. This is the secret. Yup. Yup. Nope, we're taking that hit. We're eating that hit. Nothing we can do. We fucked up. But that's okay. Because look how well everything else is going. We're right here in the middle. You're gonna telegraph a bomb. Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're still okay. We're still okay. like that. I think what's happening is I don't think it matters how many times I hit the ghost. I think it only matters how many times I hit the one that's actually alive. So as fun as it is to bop them, I don't think it actually matters that I bop them. So I need to prioritize and focus on bopping the one that's alive. So we've got a shot still. We're doing fine. We're such great boss mechanics though. We messed up already. But that's okay. But that's okay, because look how good we are at figuring this out. Good. Good! The double hit. We love that. The sonic spin ball. Ring, 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 ring. Nope, not today. Not today, Buster. Oh, shit, man, I wasn't looking. I got so excited about hitting the last guy. I think we moved on to a bomb phase, though. Yep. One monkey down. Bomb time. 
And we're pros at the bomb phase now. This is actually the easiest phase. We don't tell you that, but it is. But it is. No. Bullshit. Oh! Risky business, dude. The double hit is risky business. We've been known to participate in some risky biz. Oh my god, what am I doing, dude? Risky business again. All right, who wants to tumble onto their head first? It's you. Good shit. Good shit. Would you like to do it as well? No? Ooh! Wow. That fucking faked me out. Are we here? Are we at this final phase? No. Bombs? Wow. Weird. I must have not dealt enough damage. I did have a couple bomb fuck-ups. Which would actually explain it, so... Cool. That should be enough. Oh! Just say to stay away, stay away, stay away. Alright. Ghost phase? Ghost phase killer? It's a Wu-Tang joke. Oh, yeah. I'm track at home. Alright, we're just looking for a watermelon. Here it is. Hey, hey, hey. No, dude. You fucked up, but that's okay. Cool, calm, collected. Watermelon spawned. Watermelon grabbed. Watermelon smashed! Oh, I got hit with the explosion too. We're down to life. That's okay. The phase here, the trick is, it's not about booping the ghosts. Although it's nice, no doubt. It's about booping him. Oh, we got it! Now this is the one, this is the one. That's why we do it, baby! All right, this is the furthest we've ever been. Oh my. Oh my. There it is. There it is. It's our ticket out of here. Get him! Yes! Dude! Oh. Feels so fucking good to complete. So fun. So fair. What could be better? What could be better? Oh! Oh! Glorious! Truly! Truly fantastic! Mm-mm-mm. mm mm World 3 complete, baby. Alright, we'll get a little preview of 4. We'll call it a stream. Oh, classic! If the swordfish is around, the swordfish is around here. We will find out next time we play Donkey Kong, which shouldn't be too long from now. I want to keep Donkey Kong going. Now that we have the controller, we're going to continue this uh, 2D platforming spree that we're on. Chat tonight or tomorrow night. More Chia, definitely. Um, and then more Donkey Kong in the future. And then again, we talked about plans for uh, Wario streams coming up. I still have a lot that I want to... Uh, stream. I want to check out some more old school Donkey Kong, some old school Mario's, the Wario franchises. The <laughs> what's the stupid word that I made up for it? Uh, Wariography. The Wariography. Soon come. Soon come. <laughs> All right, chat. Thanks so much for hanging out. Appreciate everybody that stopped by. Kesk, Loa, you were here the whole time. Let me checking in from work. Hawk, Nick, Night Gecko. Absolute legends in the daytime. Uh, tonight, probably around 8 o'clock, if I were to guess. Maybe even 7.30, but going through 9 o'clock, we'll get a nice chunk of Chia in. Uh, if I don't get on tonight, definitely the same time tomorrow. Okay. Bye.